lovers, addicts, fanáticos del perfume como yo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, this video is going to be about my top 10 fragrances for life. For life. <laughs> okay, so this, of course, is a very super, super hard video to do always. Um, because when you have so many fragrances and you're such a fragrance addict, uh, choosing 10 is really hard so i do have a lot more favorites than this but um i kind of like you know try to get the best of the best of my favorites this is of course for now this is a list that changes constantly as you know as i buy more fragrances and i do have a pretty big wish list if you saw my uh previous video so i don't know if you know those some of those will be bumping some of these out um in the future uh so yeah let's get started so the first one that I'm going to show you is Angel Share. Angel Share by Killian. Uh, this one was a Mother's Day uh, present, uh, it, you know, so it's really expensive, but it's just beautiful. Uh, the cognac, the cinnamon, uh, the praline, everything that's in this is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's that boozy cinnamon goodness. I don't know if cinnamon yeah cinnamon has to be in this yes so i just love it love it love it now it's very expensive so if you don't want to pay 200 dollars for a 1.7 ounce you can get brooklyn fragrance lover by alexandria fragrances which is almost identical it is really really a really good um imitation yeah it's the same well, like maybe 98%, you know, okay? So there you go. That is that. Number two. Number two, I don't have the original bottle. Uh, this is a refillable alien bottle. Uh, but the one that I am mentioning, I'm going to pop the picture up here so you can see, is Alien Essence Absolute. The thing is, I just have it inside this refillable bottle because I bought it in... Um, uh, another refillable bottle but you know this one's prettier uh, to show you and so yeah this is a beautiful uh jasmine um it has that incense is it incense myrrh it has myrrh myrrh and i think it has incense it has like a minty i'm just gonna spray it even though this is really expensive but i have good news about that okay in a second uh, so i'm just gonna spray it it has that minty, like a minty feel in the beginning. And then it turns into that vanilla with the jasmine and uh, the, the myrrh, the incense. I feel like I'm missing something. But yeah, it's just delicious. Now, I forgot to mention, most of these are more, uh, you know, they're heavier scents. I love my long-lasting fragrances. I love my heavy winter um dark sexy that's my type of my favorite that's just my favorite okay so that's you're gonna see a lot of this so you know these are not ones that uh i've been feeling like wearing because since it's been hot and everything they just don't feel right um you know i did wear a gourmand yesterday and i feel like i got away with it uh it was an imitation for lira um which is really nice but it didn't make this list but it was really good um so yeah I'm the type that I wear what I want when I want, but just if it doesn't feel right or I'm not in the mood for it, then, you know, I just don't wear it. So anyways, that's that one. Now, if you can't, if you don't want it, because the Alien Essence Absolute, um, there is discontinued. It's really hard to find. They sell it for $200 and $300 for like an ounce or two ounces. It's like really ridiculous. Um, you can try scarlet letter by juliana's perfumes this imitation there's not a lot of imitations um for alien essence absolute and i was so excited when this came out i was like screaming i was so happy and i bought it and this is a really good imitation it's really really good i'm so happy that this came out and i will forever just keep repurchasing this this was this saved me this saved me because that alien essence absolute it's 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 kind of it's really expensive i paid the one that when i did buy it i paid 
130 for an ounce so you know hello this one and it's almost exactly the same um i did put them side by side yesterday because i knew i was going to do this video so the the only difference is more in the opening in the opening i feel like the alien essence absolute has more of that minty mintiness and that's just how i describe it there's no mint in it it's just the the way i that's that's what i feel that's what i smell okay but then when they dry down they're like the same okay boom so that's that one the next one is going to be the beautiful delina by parfum semarli of course you know she was gonna make this list of course she's everything she's sexy she's beautiful she's like so feminine this is like a beautiful princess this can be sexy this can be everything this is such a high quality fragrance that i wish there was more like this um i do have i had to decide between delina and delina exclusive which i love also i feel like delina um i just chose her because uh delina exclusive i feel like sometimes it's a little bit much when it's like hotter um and i feel like delina i can wear her all year even though it is more of like a spring kind of thing but you know you know so delina exclusive more like a sexier um more wintry i would say it's more like for co a colder um weather i don't know so now for delina exclusive by Pokemon Marley, there are so many so many so many dupes so many imitations um so just research i know uh alexandria has um they have uh, i think it's called D diane lady diana i haven't tried it because i have first kiss first kiss i got this was this was one of the first uh fragrances that i bought from um layered and when i got you know that i was and i got this one before i got the original so i knew that since i fell in love with this one that i wanted to go for the big bottle and the, the original and everything so alternatives okay that's that okay next one is going to be honey this is by alessandria fragrances this is the imitation for annie by nishane i shall put the picture here um and i just love it i call it my vanilla bomb it's i feel like it's a little bit spicy kind of it's so good the longevity look at just look at this that's how you know that's how you know it's top 10 <laughs> yeah i need to take it easy so that's that one it says vanilla woody powdery i love some powderiness and fragrances so good so good that's that one okay next one is going to be la belle le parfum so la belle le parfum is the one who made it i do love the original la belle also of course forever i i will rebuy that one repurchase but this one is the deeper darker sexier sister um with the tonka um at the base and the vanilla the pear and it's just really dark and sexy i just love it okay and lasting power is really good too that one okay next one i only have a mini so i love my vanilla fragrances i'm like addicted to vanilla fragrances when i do my uh after my no buy i'm gonna uh buy a few not a few <laughs> uh for vanilla fragrances that i really want and i'm gonna be doing a vanilla video a vanilla fragrance video because just i have to just dedicate one to vanilla uh so anyways vanilla 28 this one i was late to the game i saw so many people talk about this but i always heard that kayali um the longevity was kind of an issue so i never bothered to try i do have sweet diamond pink pepper and uh invite only um but this one i uh somebody i did a i did a trade because i smelled this on my coworker and it was so good this delicious i know it has vanilla orchid and i forget the other things but it's just i think caramel i don't know it's so good and the longevity i don't know why on uh for me it lasted it lasted me the whole day so this actually has good longevity and look at that liquid 
look at that beautiful color it's like a it's like a purplish brown i don't know why it turned that color but i love it <laughs> I love, and the bottles the kiali bottles are just so cute so anyways i'm going to be buying a bigger bottle of this because that's why i haven't used it that much i'm afraid i don't want it to ever end it's like a treasure and this is also similar in the same family and similar to um spiritus double Veni by Guerlain or Guerlain, however you pronounce it um so that's that one next one is another alessandria verse uh alessandria fragrances this is vanille dory so this is the imitation for spiritus double Veni by Guerlain, which i just mentioned uh so this one is just a smoky vanilla i love it in the big in the opening it's not identical it's a little bit different than Duvalet Bunny, but then um, when it dries down, that's when they get more and more and more similar. This is beautiful and I'm eating it too. Okay, the next one is forever gonna be on my list, Club de Nuit Intense by Armoff. This is a rose and oud. Um, the little thing broke off, it doesn't matter. This is good stuff, this is heavy this is sexy this is you can wear it to a club it's called club the Nuit intense but it's just boom it's in your face and i just love it love it love it love it ah uh, this is said to be um a uh, really really similar to uh noir the noir by tom ford so um this is really good for life okay next one i'm going to mention is Another rose and oud. This is Sir Al Sheila by Swiss Arabian. Uh, I love this one. It's just and it's very potent, very long lasting. It's different from um, Club de Nuit. It's just so good. I love it. And you see the top, real cute. Very nice, very nice. Okay, very long lasting. Very very long lasting. Um, I remember I wore this. Uh, and I was the person who was sitting in the desk more than six feet away from me said they that she could smell me and her nose was burning <laughs> her nose was burning and I I'm supposed to feel bad right but like oh no your nose is burning but I was like really I was like well thank you <laughs> anyway okay so now I only have one spot left and these three are competing for a spot. So I'm gonna tell you who was competing here. So I have these three, boom. So we have Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian, My Beautiful Gold Brick. <laughs> uh, this is Arabian's Tanka by Montal, and this is Sheikh Al Shuku by uh, La Tapa. So these are competing now this one shake out has caramel and it has cinnamon which i love but when i put these all on yesterday which didn't really go well with this weather i mean i was inside my house but still it was like suffocating me a little bit um i decided i eliminated this one because it went it felt a little bit sour but i know it's because of the weather but anyway i needed to eliminate one so i said okay we're gonna eliminate that one which is still beautiful and everything and then we have these two. This is like uh, Arabian Tonka to me. It's like a gourmand uh, oud. It's very delicious. I, I do love Tonka. And this one is a rose and oud. They say this is very similar uh, to oud bouquet by Lancome. So I decided that Shagaf Oud is still number one. <laughs> it's still number one i do love these all of these uh but this has like a special place um in my heart this one is very potent um a lot of people don't like it and i can't wear it that much but it's a top 10 for life for me so that that is it so i hope you enjoyed my video i hope you enjoy my choices most people probably think they're crazy and they're way too much, but that is what I like. That is, that's my favorite fragrances and my favorite types. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Until next time, <laughs> bye.